Hello and welcome to Select 10. Due to Netflix's enormous collection and frequent editions of new shows, it is difficult to keep track of all the best shows there. So to save your time, we have selected the top 10 best Netflix web series that you may have missed. This is our fourth video on the best Netflix series, and the links to the first three are in the description, so check them out later to discover more interesting Netflix shows that you might not be aware of. Now let's start the video. Number 9. Cathedral of the Sea. It is a historical drama series directed by Jordi Frades. This narrative takes place in the 14th century in Spain and tells the story of a young child named Arnau Estaniel, who is introduced to the city by his foster father. It was during one of the city's most prosperous periods when the Church of Santa Maria del Mar was being built and the Inquisition was in full swing. In the middle of this, Arnout reigns as a blacksmith and works on the cathedral's development and as time progresses, he gains insight into the city's power structures and political system and rises to a higher position, but being close to authority also brings the risks associated with the closer to him. It is an excellent depiction of what life would have been like in the 13th century. In terms of aesthetics, this series has a Game of Thrones vibe to it, and it is a must-see for fans of historical stories. And the show has a 7.5 rating on IMDb and an 89% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. Easy. It is a comedy-drama anthology series directed and produced by Joe Swanberg. The story centers on a group of Chicago residents who are attempting to understand contemporary relationships, sexuality, technology, and general information. It is an anthology series with flawlessly written independent episodes, so you are not required to watch them in order. However, there are a few recurring characters that appear in all three of the seasons, and after you start watching the show, you'll understand why, and I won't say it to prevent spoilers. Easy is a fantastic watch if you're searching for something unique but relevant, it tackles a lot of contemporary themes with an amazingly light touch. But there are numerous intimate moments, making it clear that you cannot watch this show with your family. And the show has a 6.9 rating on IMDb and an 85% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. Undercover. It is a crime drama series created by Nico Mulliner. The plot is based on true events and centers around undercover operatives who are infiltrating a drug kingpin's business in Limburg in order to capture him and his crew of violent criminals. The major plot revolves around Ferry Booman, a ruthless gangster who despite his wealth, enjoys spending his vacation in a small cabin on the famous site just beside his estate. Since Ferry is complex and tricky, the police choose to work together and place their two top covert investigators, Belgian Bob Lemmons and Dutch Kim de Ruij, as a camper couple near Ferry and his wife. To allow the police to uncover Ferry's criminal operations, the agent's objective is to become a part of Ferry's life, gain his trust, and introduce Bob as a gangster with whom Ferry should conduct business. It's a slow but steady burn that explains the main character intentions in great detail and elevates the tension to a high level. If you enjoyed shows like Ozark or Narcos, add this to your watch list, you will enjoy it. And the show has a 7.8 rating on IMDb and a 94% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. Brand New Cherry Flavor. It is a horror thriller series based on the novel of the same name by Todd Grimson. The plot centers on a young woman named Lisa Nova, who is determined to make her Hollywood debut as a director. When Lisa meets renowned producer Lou Burke, he offers her anything she desires, but Lisa's dreams swiftly turn from fantastical pleasure to terrifying horror after she trusts someone and gets betrayed. From there, all things goes terribly wrong, and a once fantastic project becomes a nightmare involving monsters, hit men, demonic creatures, and a shadowy tattoo designer who enjoys cursing humans. In her quest for revenge, she enlists the help of a strange witch, unleashing a spell that sends everyone involved on a torturous adventure of paranormal punishment that spirals out of control. It is a gripping horror story, which may seem predictable at times, but the execution is flawless and sleek. It also doesn't hold back on the body horror or bizarre factor, making it a must-watch for fans of horror series. And the show has a 7.1 rating on IMDb and a 75% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. Outer Banks. It is an action-adventure mystery series set in a town on North Carolina's Outer Banks where there is a noticeable cultural split between wealthy summer visitors and people from lower-income families. The main storyline centers on a group of young people who are searching for information about their group leader, John B.'s father, who has been missing for some time. 
Along the way, they come across a treasure map that leads towards the discovery of a long-lost famous treasure connected to John B.'s father's kidnapping. As they overcome challenges including love, rivalry, and friendship, the youths struggle to uncover the mystery while being pursued by the police and a powerful group. I had major doubts about watching this show at first, but it has exceeded all of my expectations. It is an excellent combination of action, suspense, mystery, and humor, and for the show's fans, there is good news, the show has been renewed for a third season. And the show has a 7.6 rating on IMDb and an 80% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. Murderville. It is a murder mystery comedy series developed by Krister Johnson. The show is based on the BBC3 series, Murder in Successville. In comparison to usual shows, the format of this series is unique, as every episode features a different celebrity guest partner, who helps the show's main character, Detective Terry Seattle, navigate an unscripted murder investigation. That's right, a celebrity guest plays a rookie investigator, who hasn't been given a story ahead of time, and now must improvise as they attempt to figure out who the real murderer is. In every episode, Detective Terry is joined by a new famous guest, as they work together to solve a mystery. The show's main strength is that all the conversation is unscripted, offering a fresh take on genuine comedy. With a brand new concept, excellent acting, and brilliantly spot on humor, this is the funniest show I have seen recently. And the show has a 6.8 rating on IMDb and a 76% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. Ratched. It is a psychological thriller series created by Evan Romansky. The series is set in 1947 and tells the story of hospital nurse Mildred Ratched, who moves to Northern California in search of work at a prestigious mental facility where innovative, disturbing tests on the human mind have just started. However, no one is aware that Mildred is on a dangerous mission and purposefully portraying herself as the ideal example of what a devoted nurse should be. However, things begin to get out of hand as she continues to manipulate the mental health care system and many others within it in order to achieve her goal. The glamorous appearance of Mildred hides a long simmering darkness that shows that real monsters are created, not naturally born. With tension and mystery that keep you guessing, the plot is incredibly gripping and keeps you hooked the entire time. And the show has a 7.3 rating on IMDb and a 69% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. Living With Yourself. It is a comedy drama series created by Timothy Greenberg. The plot centers on Miles Elliott, who has given up on both life and love and has decided to try a secret therapy in an effort to turn his life around. But his entire existence changes when he discovers that he is being replaced by a higher standard of himself, who is stealing control of his life. To be honest, it's hard not to enjoy this series, the humor blends perfectly, the plot is interesting, and Paul Rudd does a brilliant job, literally portraying two separate versions of himself. It's a great series with a remarkable story about a man who suffers with his profession, family issues, and relationships. And the show has a 7.2 rating on IMDb and an 82% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. The Billion Dollar Code. It is a limited mystery drama miniseries based on true events. The story revolves around a German tech company which filed a lawsuit against Google in 2014, alleging that Google copied code from their software, TerraVision, to develop Google Earth, which was oddly similar. In the four episodes, the show alternates between a 2017 hearing for the lawsuit, where two German software experts, Karsten Schluter and hacker Juri Muller, deliver their statements and recalls of the occasions of 1993 and 1994, when the two first joined and created their groundbreaking program. The series recreated elements of the real-life lawsuit, which continued until 2017, even though some characters and storylines were made up for the series. This one may not be for everyone, as many people avoid these kinds of shows because they lack major elements such as action and humor, which most people enjoy. But, this show is unique, so if you like watching interesting topics or geeky tech stories, this one is for you. And the show has an 8 rating on IMDb and a 93% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 1. Maniac. It is a psychological sci-fi series created by Patrick Somerville. The story centers on Annie Landsberg and Owen Milgram, two random people who are pulled into the final rounds of a mysterious clinical study. Each person has a unique motivation for taking part in the study, and sadly in Annie's case, she is frustrated and jobless, obsessed with her strained bonds with her mother and sister, while Owen has battled with a major mental illness his whole life. 
When the creator of the daring procedure experiment claims that his medicine will fix anything wrong with anyone's brain, it tempts Owen and 10 more participants into a three-day medication test, where they are assured that it will completely solve all of their issues without any risks or health consequences. However, things do not go as expected when the massive supercomputer that conducts tests starts to malfunction. The show's key focus is the hardship of surviving with personality disorder, but it also has an incredibly imaginative sci-fi story set in a dreamlike world. It is an underrated hidden gem on Netflix that should be on your watch list. And the show has a 7.7 .7 rating on IMDb and an 84% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.